Hello everyone, today I will show how to make a simple ADC simulation using QSpice. QSpice is a new uh, mixed signal spice simulator and it has great potential in digital control because you can incorporate some C++ code or Verilog code in some simulation blocks and this can simulate you some microcontroller code. So now let's get started. I will open the QSpace here and we'll save it as an ADC. First we need to get the voltages. I will simply press V on the keyboard and I will get a voltage. Then if I press G I will get the ground symbol. And First, you could just type here a value of 3.3 volt, for example, or another value to get a DC output voltage. But we want a ramp. And this ramp, then we want to uh, run through the ADC code. So therefore, I will use pulse. We will start with a value of 0 and with a value of 3, which is maximum value for our supposed microcontroller we use then no delay no rise time no fall time ah no we need a rise time of we take three milliseconds fall time of zero on time of zero and a period of three milliseconds so this will be our ramp then i type another v another ground we need and here we just type the 3.3 volts. This will be our reference voltage. And the last voltage source I use, I will use this voltage to generate a 10 kilohertz square wave. And this will be our sampling rate. So I will put here pulse, pulse, here one, not zero, then one, delay, Zero, rise time zero, fall time zero. The on time will be half of it, which is 50 microseconds, and period 100 microseconds, which is 10 kilohertz. For connecting uh, symbols, you can press W, and you get a wire. Now let's check if our setup is correct. Therefore, I just press here to run the simulation. Ah, I am missing a transient. So therefore, I just press dot trans. We do a transient simulation of three milliseconds in this case. And then run again. Not trans, it's just tran. Then I run it and this window opens and there we can see our voltages or our outputs. So the first one, this will be the ramp from 0 to 3.3 volts. Second one is our reference voltage of 3.3 volts. I will add another window and here we see our time. From here I will open a uh, a record entry and in this block here I can put the C++ code therefore I go and show the properties on the symbol here I need to go down to DLL and we need some input and output ports so therefore I put here an input port this would be our in input then we have our v ref reference voltage and this would be our ticks and we need one more port this will be output port we just call it out in this case all of those ports i need to define 
their port type, which is here an input, and data type. For this one, I will use floating point. And the output, in this case, output. And data type will be an integer. Then I go right click. C++ interface and I create a C++ template, just press OK and it opens me right away the template for the C++ code and there you can see already our input and output ports here. First of all we will continue and want to get on the output a a discrete amplitude signal. So we will first just discretize the amplitude of our ramp. So therefore, we do out equals int the cast to an integer and use in over the ref times two brackets time two and we shift it to our ADC bits. This will be the how many bits the ADC has minus one semicolon and we only need to declare the ADC bit int ADC and we'll start with two bits then it's easily visible how discretized the output is then I save this right mouse click compile dealer here it shows me that it's compiled successfully and then I'll just put here a small wire on the output measure it afterwards and run the simulation. So the inputs will be the same. And here we'll show the output now. And this is a 2-bit signal, so the maximum home is 3, which is correct. We have a step with 4 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3 volt is the maximum. Now, generally, we always have more bits in a microcontroller, often 12 bits are used in a microcontroller. So therefore we save it, compile it with 12 bits, run it again, and here we have the bits. 12 bits is barely visible. And we see that the simulation time base is not fine enough. Therefore, we put it a bit finer with the maximum time step of, we will take now 10 mil nanoseconds, run it again, and now we should be able to see the completed steps. And here we see the 12 bit steps. Okay, next we need to make it time discrete, and therefore, we use the ticks. We will define another variable which will be int last tick. Initialize it with zero. And now what I will do, I want to always run this code or the ADC when we have a rising edge on our ticks input. Therefore I will write if ticks equals one and last tick equals zero then I want to do the ADC conversion. If this is not the case, I just want to leave the 
output as it is. So we will put int last out equals zero. Let me make it simple. This one will just be our last out. Actually, we don't need the else then. It's just not updated. So we can just put out equals last out here. And we need just the last tick still. Last tick equals ticks. Now we compile it again. It was compiled successfully. We run the code. And now we can see that each time we have a rising edge, each time we have here a rising edge on our ticks input, we get an update on the ADC. So that concludes how to make a very simple ADC on QSpace. And this one can be used then, this small code, um, to simulate a microcontroller and use this as an input. Thanks.